will be the biggest line in the careers of some of these players, particularly if they are to go on and win. Representing your country and winning your World Cup final. So many great records behind him. Cameron Smith has indicated it would be a crowning achievement of his career. Captain Australia to a win tonight at home. says time on and Cameron Smith gets the final underway and it'll be James Graham that has the first hit up and David Clemmer's there to meet him 10 out from the England line that was a solid hit and that rocked I think James Graham who gets up very very slowly and is in real trouble in back play Smith Morgan there's no winger over there Rob Corgan was on the outside of Josh Dugan Smith Woods, back to Smith, Burgess in the way, but he gets around him and finds Slater, back to Smith, and he's hit high. Little halfback, and Josh McGuire didn't like it. Here comes Bateman. Cooper Cronk is in there as well. Stay on this, who's on this one, Bucky? Yeah. Smith to say he was sticking up for his little dummy half, referring to himself. Looking after his skipper. See a bit of passion in a in a test match. 20 metres out from the line, here come the kangaroos. Wasn't much in the tackle, certainly didn't require the overreaction from Josh McGuire. Cooper Cronk, now Morgan. Oh, he's getting in the way there, Cordner. They're only 10 metres away here, the kangaroos. Can they get the first points of this final? The Rugby League World Cup of 2017. Also in there, Burgess, last tackle, Cooper Cronk. Kicking, it's a shallow kick. Knocked back for some reason by England and forced in the in goal area. What were they doing there? What was Callum Watkins thinking? Why didn't he just catch this? He got two hands to it. I'm not sure if he thought there was going to be an Aussie player there. Attacking him as well. Cronk under pressure. Gillett. Gillett with the dummy. Gillett for the goal line. He's only a metre away. Whitehead with the tackle. England hanging on grimly. Morgan dummies inside to Dugan. Then gets the ball over to Cordner. Off the legs of Holmes. Was it touched by England? No. Last tackle. Morgan. Cooper Cronk. Hit as he kicked it by Graham. Here's Gagai. Well taken. England in in goal area. No, says the referee. From the field of play. Into the in goal area. It's a massive difference. Does he jump from the field of play? If he does, as the referees ruled, great take there by Ryan Hall. If he, if he has, then right, it is. Bucky? Yeah, good call. Great call. Slater! Slater! Will He's only back? six away. Up, Go, Sloppy play the ball. Referee says OK. Smith. Now Crump. Here's Morgan. Cordner into space. Cordner over with it. Cordner gets the first try of the Rugby League World Cup final. The Aussies are in, they lead by four, and sheer weight of possession gets us. Cameron Smith. Doesn't miss too many, Cameron Smith. It's now 6-0. The Another strong run from Chris Hill. He's only a metre or two away. And the hand on the football from Aaron Woods. And he knew what he was doing because England was getting some momentum. Go. Tom Burgess. Tom Burgess with his first touch. That's the goal line. One foot, hold! Go, one. Go. The back to Brown now, off down the touchline, somehow kept it in and then monstered by Gillett was Bateman. I don't know how Hall stayed in and poor Kevin Bateman, or John Bateman I should say, was absolutely monstered. He'll score from there sometimes too. Hall, he's a big strong wing, it was great defence. Gagai just held his line, Chambers. Gale, Burgess, Ritter, here they come. The ball is 
to McGilvery, it was flat. He's over the 10, he's still going, loses it. And who's there to tidy up? Cameron Smith. And a penalty. So they compound the error, England. Enterprising stuff from England. It was a great opportunity. But Watkins should have given the ball first time earlier to McGilvery. He would have had a lot more space to work in. There's the error at the end of the, the play. McLean, Morgan. Can they get a try before half time here? The Kangaroos. Cordner almost through. Tackle made there by Wormsley. Smith off the back of it. He's got Gillett. Cuts him out and finds Chambers with the kick. It's off the legs of Hall. Back off the legs of Gillett and back to Hall. And that's twice now the Aussies have gone for the little kick at the end of the play with England defence. Picked up by Graham. Ten seconds. Drop goal here, is it? From Cooper Cronk. Charged down by Roby. Now it is in the hands of Holmes right on half time. There is the siren, and what an engrossing first 40 minutes of the Rugby League World Cup. Half time, it is Australia leading England by six points to nil. Zell will play it. Whittock stands his ground and drops it. Wow, the easiest kick he's had all night, and maybe that was the problem. Smith, Morgan, Slater up quickly, Brown, good tackle. Stand Shut him down Brown. straight away. Smith, drops it back here Elliot to Kendall no Gillard. Hold, oh. go to. Morgan, short ball, Cordner again. This Hold time, Brown go. stops his progress. Go three. Morgan. Awful pass. Smith does well. Outside, now Cronk, Gillett. Once again, the English defence is there. Alex off the, ball. the top was Wormsley. Square Hands all over the footy. Smith, short ball, strong run. No way through there Luis, for Will Chambers. It is the last. Cronk. Here's Slater. Can't get there. And Winner does Smith no. kick. Dugan in the in goal area. What a disappointing end of the set. Well, it is because it should have been a penalty to England in the tackle before. Absolutely. And now Australia with seven tackles. Dugan doing a bit of damage from the tap restart. And they're up to the halfway line almost on zero tackle. You take the ball on the full in the in goal area, in your own in goal area. It's a zero tackle. Because Dugan calling to the bench for some assistance. Maybe that ankle is causing a problem. Decided to change direction. England on the ropes. McLean coming back to the short side. Morgan's with him. Morgan. Morgan will score. The Kangaroos have gone from one end to the other. Although we're going to check. On the field. This point we're fine. This point we've got nobody ahead of the ball. Goes back across. Is anybody ahead of the ball? We have a decision there to make on nine right that's the, that's the ruling we have to make can we go back to that please if you would so it's on smith he runs behind smith i don't need to see anymore i've got my decision and i'm going to the board i think it's no try i think that's the way they're going to rule it they'd argue either way I think it's clearly no try, but there it is. Ren behind Cameron Smith. Denied the opportunity to make the tackle and he gained an advantage by passing the footy. For me, that's a no try. Yeah, let me, yeah. The first half. But already we've seen line breaks. Oh, the shot there on Whitehead from Boyd Cordner. The head rocked back. Chris, That shortened him up.
Australia lead by 15 as Maguire comes up with another terrific hit. Tackle number 27. Paul. Clemmer over the top. tackle now hill long pass whitehead the kick not played at by dugan it's still the last it comes back to graham no the referee's changed his mind win up on zero tackle for some reason kicks and morgan is there to wrap up it was zero tackle the tackle count and restarted well, i don't think we'd have heard he saw the first indication that it wasn't six this was a try, it was a pass back inside for sure from Watkins, but Dugan, he's come up with the ankle tap. The play continues, with a six again, fortunately for him. More than a minute of this tournament. Can they hang on for another 50 seconds? Last throw of the dice here for England. Lomax returning it and runs into Chambers. What have they got here, England? Who will stand up? Winner. Will it be McGilvery? Watkins, can he line him up? Look at the green and gold jerseys there in the 80th minute. Winner for acting half. Now Gale. Tom Burgess. That's the halfway line. Go, three. Tackles running out. Graham. Gale behind Hall. Throws it back to Curry. Now it comes back to Gale. Win it. There's only seconds remaining. This is the last play of the World Cup. That's gone a metre forward. And Australia has won the Rugby League World Cup. The players play on, but the referee says it's all over. The Kangaroos have done it. They have won the World Cup on home soil. And Cameron Smith crowns an extraordinary year as he leads his nation to victory. What a game. A fantastic performance. Players on both sides giving everything they had. Just that one try early in the game, the 14th minute. Who would have thought that would be enough to get Australia home? And they're related. The toughest game they've had all time. Cameron Smith, congratulations for winning the World Cup. Can you describe how this feels? Oh, it's, uh, yeah, it's amazing, mate, to... Um, Finally get a uh, World Cup victory on home soil. It's been a, been a quite a long time and a lot of hard work's gone into it. This, uh, I reckon that was one of the toughest football games I've played my entire career, Noddy. So uh, really pleasing uh, victory for the boys. Uh, like I said, it's been a, a fairly um, a fairly hard road to this one over the last two years. You know, we've um, we want to put ourselves back to number one. We've gone back to back World Cup victories now, and uh, you know, it's uh, very happy to have the Kangaroos as the best team in the world. Well, James Graham, we can see the emotion of the loss. You were so close, you were so brave, but just couldn't get there? Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, oh, tough ones to take, but uh, yeah, I think both teams played really well. Uh, I know 6-0 probably doesn't advertise a, a great game, but what a spectacle. Unbelievable defensive effort, unbelievable ability of all you, both your sides, just to continue to turn up. You looked out on your feet, did you feel like you were a chance of getting that try? Yeah, there was a couple of times where I thought, you know, uh, the half break was on or whatever, but fair play to them for their scramble. And, you know, we had to scramble pretty hard too. I think, you know, the try that they scored came off the back of um, four sets or something like that. So. England to be in the grand final of the World Cup again, it would have been something you maybe at the start thought that's, that's where you want to get to? Oh, we wanted to be here, but we wanted one step further. You know that, mate. You know the dance here. Thanks for your time, James.